tell y'all. It's Halloween. Ooh. Ooh. And we have a special spoopy Halloween Japan crate. I'm very excited to open it. Don't shake it around too much. You might <laughs> crack some stuff in there. I wanted to make sure that we opened it for Halloween. There she goes. With my with that trusty knife. old knife. If that ain't scary enough on every day of the year. I'm so fighting. Ooh. I'm already oh seeing my the drink, and the drink is a little scary. No, not. I see my favorite cookies from. <gasps> You guys, we didn't film it, but we... Here, we'll get to it. That'll be the first thing. Um, let's go ahead and start with these good-looking fellas. So we have Halloween Shimi Cocoa Corn. Which we've had already, but it literally is just special packaging, I'm pretty sure. Well, I think that was the coconut one, right? Well, yeah, but we've also had the chocolate ones before. Oh. Um, so yeah, last Japan crate, there was, it was the Tony Hawk edition, and he curated the whole box, which I thought was hilarious. Apparently he's in Japan, I don't know. Into Japan. Um, and they, it was the same thing, but coconut flavored. But the chocolate ones we've had in, in a previous one. I do, I do believe I, I remember that. I yeah. ate them all. Yeah. But, yeah, as I remember, they're pretty good. They're just star-shaped um, coconut, coconut. They're star-shaped corn puffs coated in chocolate. And they're, they're good. I think on the first one I said they taste like cocoa puffs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll be for later snacking. Oh, I see Kit Kats. I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Open on. the Kit Kats. Hold on now, hold on now. Let's let's go through. That's what Japan is notorious for is their special Kit Kats. Oh, we have a three for one special, y'all. Halloween Umabu corn, and we've had cottage? these many times before as well. Yeah, they're just like hollow cones of crisp corn again. That um. Are fl different flavors. What this are, is, what is pottage, this flavor? right? It's co pottage, corn yeah. pottage. I guess this would be like porridge. Oh yeah, po corn pottage. Because they don't have ours, so it's like porridge. I'm pretty sure. And she loves the corn soup flavored shiz. So I do. I am. I do really respect the corn flavored stuff because corn is my favorite. Um, so I'll go ahead. Like she said, I'm sure we've had these before. Many times. You want to do one? Not the sure. Kit yet? Fine. Um, ooh, my favorite thing ever. Oh. Chupa Chups. These are my favorite suckers. They're, they have the creamy ones. They have like a chocolate and cream and a strawberries and cream and orange and cream. Um, this one is Exotic Tropic. Mm. Oh. oh. You don't like it? That's a lot of corn pottage. <laughs> they gave us three. Why didn't they give us three of that bonbon bon thing that we had? Oh, yeah, that was good. But, um, yeah, so I feel like it's a bit redundant to say exotic tropic. Um, but, yeah, it's banana strawberry and pineapple coconut. I saw you. Well, I'll, I'll try it later. I'm sure it's delicious. Oh, we got some soda stuff. Or is that beer? Oh, these are the butter beer candies. Oh, you mean from Harry Potter? Yeah. Oh. It's got like a little wizard on it even, or witch. It says, oh, yes, Potterheads, your day has arrived and the most appropriate holiday too. The butter beer of Harry Potter fame is here in candy form. Combined with maple syrup and ramune flavors. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Smells oh. like cream. Oh, I missed my mouth. <laughs> Let me try again. I still got a lot of that corn tasting going on, but it's not bad. It's a fizzy candy. Interesting. It's really creamy, but fizzy at the same time. Yeah. It's like eating like effervescent milk. Oh, God. Is it not? It's a little mapley. Yeah, I barely taste that maple. 
not crazy about we it. We got high chew assorted Halloween candy. There should be two. <laughs> oh, good. Psych. Two. What is the what is the flavor? Oh, this is grape. What's yours? Apple. Mine is how you know? Oh, damn. But it's just like just special Halloween packaging, but it's just regular high chew. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm save it. Which one is yours? Grape. You don't like grape. So I don't like I grape anyway. Grape. Yeah, we're going to save those because we have for later. so many high chews right now. Don't even want to talk about it. This is a that. pumpkin pop, an orange pumpkin pop. It's just a sucker that's shaped like a pumpkin. Yeah, it's literally pumpkin lollipop. But it's orange flavored. It's not pumpkin flavored. I'd be excited if it were pumpkin flavored, honestly. Well, there's the orange pumpkin. No, it just says their flavors such as green apple, grape, and orange. Why this don't you? Orange. Why don't you have a pumpkin flavor? I I wonder. I mean, with all it's this kind of a weird flavor for children. Mm, you're right. Okay, we got something called pure pure gummy assorted candy. And there you can see that the packaging's pretty cute. It has some uh, ghosts, and it is a package of an orange and grape gummy. You know which one you're getting. Um, no, they're combined orange and grape. Oh, God. <laughs> these look really good, though. Honestly, yeah. they look like... Are, they, are these heart-shaped? Yeah, I think so. But they look very, like, chewy. And a little sour. Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's delicious to me. Mmm. That grape is for the birds. No, these I think I've had these gummies before because these this brand is delicious. It's pure or puree. Yeah, I would hope it's delicious with a name like. Oh wait, is there an orange one too? And you either grape get grape or orange. I guess we got the grape. It's delectable. I'm saving the last one for later. So good. You got that. Um, we got this little guy. Where are you at? Oh, it's Black Thunder Halloween Bar. Thunder and lightning is not so frightening in this delicious treat. It's a chocolate snack. Black Thunder. That's my new tag name. I was going to say that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Dang, I beat you to it. It's really for me to say it anyway. Oh, well, it's already split in half. Yeah, you shook the box up earlier. <laughs> it looks good. It looks like a, um... Mmm. It's like a cookie... Yeah, it's like a... Mmm. Yeah, I like mm. it. No, I want to save the last mm. bite. It's like a chocolate cookie crumble on the inside, and mm. then it was covered in chocolate. Perfect. Really good. Perfection. Oh, we got the little pandas, our favorite. Look at him. He's so festive this time. We've had those a million times. I know, but the koala, I've not seen him in his Halloween getup. This is, and of course, you can get this at like Walmart or your local like. Ew, don't store. shop at Walmart. Sorry. But you can get it at international markets. Like, not, I mean, it's not even a really good example, but even World Market has them. Yeah, I mean, you can get them at any store, really. But not. But yeah, they're just like vanilla cookie with chocolate on the inside. They're very good. But yeah, very standard Japanese food. And then we got. Um, I'm loving the art on these as usual. Is it the monster stamp cider. Yep. Oh, cool! It's a stamp. And you can eat it. I think yeah. Japan, you you wild and right. Okay, so get some paperwork done while eating your Halloween candy with this candy stamp. Just kidding. Lick the cider flavored stamp part, stamp it on the surface of your choice, and a monster will appear. I'm pretty sure there's Spoopy. candy like this in America. I feel like I, or it used to be at least when I was a kid. Because it sounds oh. pretty familiar. <gasps> Let me get some paper. No, I'm putting it on my hand. Oh, that's an even better idea. So there's right. four stamps. There's a pumpkin. That's a pumpkin, too. And this is a 
Oh, it's a witch. It didn't really work that well. It kind of worked. It's just, just a lick at one time, bro. Oh. Well, ain't nothing wrong ah. with it being extra wet. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. There is a problem with it being extra wet. That looks like... That looks like a witch. Alright, that's the pumpkin. Can oh, I... and that's a witch, too. So two pumpkins, two witches. Mm, they're really hard. Well, I imagine so. They're gonna... I like I like eating sucking on you know eating on it. Don't. All right, so we got the small kids out the way. Time for the big papas. So here we have Halloween pansuke, which is pansuke. Is our favorite raccoon, all dressed up and ready to go trick-or-treating with you. Not me. I don't do that anymore. Um, he bought his favorite treat, wheat snacks that are crispy and slightly sweet. Same thing we've had a million times, but that's fine. Oh. Was that some shade that I hear it throwing? Mm-mm. Yeah, I mean, just like any type of rice, rice type just a of rice snack. crisp. Yeah, that we've had, and now we have the Halloween bonchijaj, bon bonchijaj, which we've had this before as well. I remember having bonchiachi. I remember having difficulty saying that word before. Oh, but I do like these snacks, so I'm not she complaining. Did eat them all last time. couple of repeats and then we got a do-it-yourself kit and we'll do that we'll like collect a whole bunch of them and do them later it's a okashi no mizume do-it-yourself but yeah these are always really interesting to me because it says you have three separate flavors strawberry ramune and lemon and that's supposed to turn into grape somehow wow they always do that and i'm just like how there's no way that's real how slay but we'll try that out later. Ooh, Lipton has made a creme brulee type drink uh, in Japan. And what are they saying about this one? We're going to have to try this, even though it's warm. It's a, uh, I mean, I guess. It's a creme brulee milk tea. The special edition mm. flavor is our treat for you this Halloween. Well, thank you, Japan Crate. They have been on time, so if you guys were wondering, um, sorry about the gap in videos, but hey, at least we got a Halloween special. It basically just tastes like like bubble tea base. It really does. We could make some... That's literally all it is. It's just like powdered tea with cream and sugar. And yeah, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's good. Yeah, but it doesn't can... taste like creme brulee. Sorry, I keep mm -hmm. cutting you off. Heck no. That's Heck no. I, that's what I was afraid of. That it was going to taste like... Oh, that's cool. We got the treat. Mm -hmm. The Lipton thing was the treat. And we could have gotten a trick, which, which is, is... Clam miso soup. Huh? But it says trick question mark because some people enjoy it. I I feel like you may enjoy that. Probably. may have enjoyed it and then we have finally reached the end which is the kit the kitties the kit cats um what flavor is this caramel pudding Ooh. that's like the typical like japanese pudding with the caramel this is gonna be really fun we're gonna get to give this to the children in our neighborhood i am wary of that though like what if their parents are like um that's like japanese i don't want you eating my eating my mom japanese. yeah my, my mom would do some stuff like that so that's what i'm a little worried about you want to split this one yeah i'm pretty sure they've melted they feel a little melted 
They really have to be careful when they ship chocolate. Yeah, I, I do wonder that sometimes. Oh, that yeah, that's melted. I do wonder that mm. sometimes. Poor kids. I really want to give them some. I but, don't. These are delicious. <laughs> I don't want to give anybody any. Mm. That is so good. It's like, it literally tastes like pudding. It's super creamy. It doesn't really taste like white chocolate. It has like a, like that really creamy taste to it. Mm. A little bit of caramel. That is pretty good. I'm assuming it's white chocolate based, but it does not taste like white chocolate. You know what? I'm, I'm actually glad also that we won't be sharing these. No. Those are amazing. Just as good as the barbecue special Cheetos that I really want again. That could have been a repeat. Japan Crate. <laughs> WTF. Just saying. All right. Well, that's actually all of the stuff from the Halloween Japan Crate. Um, yeah, it went really quick this time because we had a lot of a lot of repeats. And I'm pretty sure my favorite thing by far was the Kit Kats. These are freaking amazing. And I'm really upset, except slash glad that they don't sell these here because I would eat them all. And even this one small um, container is 63 calories. So uh -oh. I'm glad we split it. <laughs> nice. But happy Halloween, everybody. Stay spoopy. Woo, woo.